Hey y'all, this is Crookalicious checking in for episode number four of Belm Imperia. Of course, it's kind of like episode number two if you consider the fact that we had to restart a little bit, but that's a-okay. I was actually informed by Goki, the developer of the mod, that I can uh, do different routes in how I can transfer my save game files into a new update. And so anyways, hopefully we'll never have this bug, those bugs ever again, but I thought it was really funny. Um, I don't know if many of you guys liked it because the, the episode actually didn't get that many likes, but that's okay. That's a-okay. We'll just move on. Now, let's see. Is is uh, audio working for you guys? Yeah, it is. Okay. Just making sure. I got a new motherboard, guys, for my birthday. My wife actually surprised me by doing it. So, anyways, here's the note about everything right there saying it's massively overhauled and everything else like that I'm assuming if you've been watching my series you may have already understood that it is the case but if not there was a message and you can go back and pause it if you really desire to I mean if you really really want to guys come on you know what I mean I'm just kidding. I, I don't. I doubt you know what I mean but anyways I'm building up my army right now I do have a lot of money a lot like a lot you guys understand that's a lot right okay um and the reason why i'm going around recruiting is because might as well right there's nothing better to do right now actually there's a lot of things that we can do um i think food is something to be concerned about in this game which in the 0 0.6 mod i actually bugged it out somehow where it wasn't charging me for eating food so part of me actually relatively hopes that's the same way here now I did remove the party wages as well because I don't know I like to just get to the game oh real quick before I forget I need to go into mod options let's start at the bottom and go up um, disable battle wounds yeah um, I hate that one that's one of my least favorite ones walk backwards uh, fatigue Click to enable gore. No, we'll keep it G-rated, T-rated, whatever. Uh, well, the gore part's probably not that as bad, but whatever. Uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll make this a little bit more arcadey. Why? Because. Uh, no. Click to disable battle continuation. Is that where reinforcements come? I'm guessing so. But it's okay. Alright, well. I basically changed everything about the mod right there. <laughs> but. Some of them are annoying to me. I mean, if you really want to play a series where you can do it. And everything else. Then by all means. Go for it, guys. Good luck to you. Okay, let's uh, upgrade to levy for majority of these guys. I'm going to get three auxiliaries. Okay, now I do want to just say my motherboard hopefully is going to be working out properly, especially with this audiobook. If any of you have been with my series long, you understand that I've been having this really weird audio bug where occasionally it's been like, well, I cut it out most of the time in my editing. But anyways, it's just it's bad. Um, it's like a very loud beach noise, and it's just miserable. Anyways, I need to go find some companions. Oh, real quick, I know I'm jumping around a lot, but hopefully this motherboard fixes it. I think it was because of the energy usage, and that my old motherboard couldn't handle the, the transfer of uh, power and everything that well. Anyways, th things are... Things are back to normal with this mod, so I, I, I'm set for this. Anyways, let's see if we can um, buy some land, do things like that. Um, let's go talk to the guild master. I think we need to develop a little bit more relationship with them before anything can happen. And I'm on foot. Go figure. Uh, let's do tab and then go back into it. Hopefully it throws us back into the town. Yeah, my voice is a little bit raspy maybe this morning. That's That might be the correct word to use, but 
And that is because I was sick earlier this week, and it was not fun. Actually, it made it so I couldn't work overtime as much. <clears throat> and I'm realizing it's kind of affecting me now. But that's okay. Let's go in and talk to the Guildmaster. I'd like to get a productive enterprise. Yes, I know I'm an outsider, but that's okay. Um, let's see here. Undertaking a important mission. A group of bandits have kidnapped my daughter, or the daughter of a friend of mine, and are holding her ransom. I like these type of missions. They're kind of fun. Okay, let's uh, go and let's see if this is like on the other side of the world or something. I always love how these quests sometimes do that. Um, I could buy up land in the meantime. Uh, it's kind of hard to read all that. Like, the font wise. Buying costs about that much. You accumulate that much per acre for every two weeks. So, in other words, it's going to take forever to accumulate the same amount of money that we had by that. Alright, we'll buy two. It could come in handy in the future. We'll see, we'll see. Why is my morale low? I'm just going to throw that out there. It should not be low. I have charisma super high and other things as well. There should be no reason whatsoever why my morale is low. None. So, anyways, just my little observation right there. Okay, are they actually eating the food? I don't know if they are. And the money charge for crossing rivers is still there, which is quite a shame. I realize I have no idea where I'm going for these quests right now. Um, it would be all the way flipping over there. <laughs> <coughs> oh man, excuse me guys, I'm sorry. These are not like full on coughs though. So that's good. Oh, by the way, I do like how he's put some actual towns in here as well. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's it's better than having a huge void of towns and just having these like little villages and fiefs all over the place. All right. So we are eating food. We are. All right. Let's uh, go to Sagantica. I know my morale is flipping low. I don't know why it's flipping low, but it is. Just kidding. I know my Reno is not high either, but that's okay. Let's go into the marketplace real quick and go to the good merchants. Yeah, I understand how it works. Okay, uh, venison. For any of you lads that don't know what venison is, that's deer meat. Just a quick heads up. Okay. We got plenty of food now. I don't want to hear any more complaining from you, Ninos. All right, let's see here. Uh, get some more grain. We can recruit five now. How did my number raise so high? All right, anyways, let's uh, get a archer unit, and over here we'll get two legionnaires, and since the auxiliary can actually be spear units or uh, archers, I might put a few more in there, and then get some more legionnaires, because I know the legionnaire is kind of overall the main unit. Now, I wonder if there will be bandits. I haven't seen bandits at all on this little trip. Which is kind of sad. Six days of food left. Man, my men eat a lot and clearly I have morale issues. Which makes no dude sets. 
But yeah, anyways, by the way, I thought I'd mention how I have, I remember that I'm gonna, <clears throat> I already have a list for, oh yeah, I got the boat one. Oh, they're gonna way easily outrun me. Oh my gosh, why is my morale so flipping low? I just started the series. Anyways, what I was going to say is once I find uh, companions, I do have a list on a Google Doc for becoming a uh, companion and having a name of your choice be named after them. Of course, I do not have any companions currently, and that's why all you that have requested names so far are currently not up there. So I'm just giving you a quick heads up. Let's go into the Mead Hall and see if we can actually find a companion. Traveler, Merchant, Keeper, Wanting Bard, and Watchman. Nope, we cannot. So let's leave the town because it's no point in staying here. Okay, uh, anyways, let's once again show where this is on the map. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so it's not that far away anymore. So let's keep on moving, men. And hopefully we'll gain some morale because it sounds like you guys just want to fight. But I don't have that good of a party. Like, yeah. Anyways. Oh, I really am auxiliary. Okay. Let's uh, get all legionnaires right there. And let's get a speed and maybe another archer. Uh, let's spread it. F oh, I was going to do 4 and 4, but that's okay. And we're going to lose a few more units. Because morale is low, even though I'm showing them the world and I'm feeding them. Really? Really? Okay. Anyways, let's come in here then, real quick. Let's get another spear unit. Upgrade to Lord Roman Legionnaire. Let's get another levy. Okay, my morale is going up. Now, should we fight them? Because they are at 51. I think we can do it, guys. We, I think we can do it. This might be the stupid idea, but I just think we can do it. Alright, well, here it goes. If we lose, we uh, lose, right? Okay, let's uh, move my men up here then. Let's get the high ground. Because they're going to be coming towards us, so might as well not tempt the fate there. Sounds like my little one's waking up. By the way, it's really early in the morning here. I've been awake for quite some time. Sometimes I'm plagued with bad sleep. Okay, let's uh, actually go up to this point of the hill. Okay, I'm glad I took out Stinma. I don't know about you guys, but that's one of my least favorite ones. Oh, I, th I, look, I got a pretty good unit right there. Good units. I thought I told him to go right there, though. Okay, archers. Let's put you behind the front line. Okay. Infantry, let's put you up in front. That's right, I need to spread you guys out with uh, being Roman legionnaires and levies and such and such. Come on, archers. Listen to me. Thank you. Okay, infantry, let's uh, hold your fire until you guys get really close. Because we want to be able to uh, be as effective as possible. I realize I have no cavalry. Dang it. Okay, ready men? We are Romans. Okay, I think we can fire now. Fire at will. Nice. Oh, I missed. Okay, Gladys are meant for stabbing. Okay, getting pushed back right. Ah. 
Okay, nice. Gone down. Well, I did it. Okay, nice. My men are actually doing fairly well, it looks like. Okay, let's come in from behind here. That's the one thing I don't like about Gladys is reaching distance. Okay. Looks like we're doing pretty well, though. Okay, let's come in here real quick. Nice. Oh, I thought I was gonna kill him. Okay, let's have everyone charge now. These are just archers remaining, so we should be able to take them out just fine and dandy. Okay, he's down. I need to get another sword. I like swinging. I am really glad though that he made the Gladys be able to <laughs> have swing damage. Anyways, good victory right there. We gain morale. Oh god. Okay, yeah, no problem. Okay, uh, let's see here. We can capture bandits. We'll capture as many as possible. And we'll level up people. Let's see here. Let's get one cavalry unit for now. Upgrade to Legionary. Um, sure. And let's go to a Legionaries. Let's do three of each. Okay. I do want to branch these out a little bit more. Let's just upgrade all of you guys right there. Okay. Um, auxiliaries. Let's uh, get two. One archer and three spearmen. Okay. It looks like we lost actually quite a few men. But that's okay. Let's uh, loot as much as we can. Should be good money wherever we go to. Okay. Perfect. Okay. We got 27 men now. So, anyways, I'm actually going to look at the recruiting tree real quick. Um, where's that at again? I think it was in the reports. And it is... I'm probably seeing it right now. Like, one of you guys are probably like, It's right there, Crookalicious. It's right there. And I'll be like... <laughs> um, I can't remember what's at. There it is. What? I don't see a troop tree. Well, clearly we can't look at it. That's okay. Um, okay, let's uh, resume traveling then. Oh, I realize now. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I didn't do this. Um, back in Rome, when I actually won the tournament, I could have devoted it to some gal and started relations there. Oh my goodness. Fell. <laughs> That's okay. It happens. Okay. Let's go recruit some more men. Okay, and then let's drop by Byzantium to see if there's anything else we can do there. Um, also, our recruiting party size is getting larger, so I'm guessing it's based more off renown than it is off leadership and um, uh, charisma. Okay, I, a part of me almost doesn't like Roman Auxiliary Spearmen going into Cavalry. That's just me, though. I feel like Cavalry should be its own separate branch. Um, because what if you want Spearmen? What if you want to have Spearmen in your army? And what if they have advanced Spearmen type thing? I know Rome's not known for their Spearmen per se, but anyways, it was just a thought I had. All right, let's come in here. Kidnap girls, apparently part of my party. That's a lovely. Okay, nobody's here. Let's keep moving then. Moving on forward. <laughs> All right, some of our troops are ready to upgrade, but that's okay. I want to get as far away from here as possible. All right. Oh yeah, there was no ransom over there. Man, I feel like really rusty playing this game, even though I've 
played it a few times before. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, inventory wise, oh yeah. <laughs> Duh, we can do that too. Man, I'm failing on all accounts right now, man. Alright, let's uh actually that's probably one of the best pieces so I can give it to somebody. So I'm just gonna sell all the other things below it. Let's see here, we got up to two thousand we can sell, which will be sufficiently under anyway, so let's just keep selling. There we go. Sold all that for a thousand dollars or thousand Oh what what is the units back in the day? Okay, no companions in here. Come on, move out of the way, Connect Girl. Move. Hey, bag got that. He looks like he has glasses from the side. He has an eye patch. <laughs> okay, he comes from southern Mesopotamia, so he has a story that's actually pertinent to the game mod. That's awesome. I like that. I know it takes a lot of time to probably do that, so I appreciate it. The effort by Goki for doing that. He wants 500 coins. Well, hopefully you're good. All right, let's leave the place real quick, and we do now have a new character, or not new character, a new party member. So let's move him up real quick, and while I'm in here, uh, let's talk to him and talk to him about his skill set. We'll give him that. Okay. So while I am in here, I'm going to uh, make sure to separate the legionnaires out. And we'll rename this group to legionnaires. Kind of like what I was doing in my previous uh, Belm Imperiae. Legion heirs. Oh my goodness. There you go. That's probably wrong, but you can correct me in the comments below if it is. And anyways, like I was doing in my previous series, because it's good to distinguish between them and regular infantry. Because they have gladdises. Regular infantry often has swords or other things. Maybe in Roman time period they did not. But that's okay. Anyways, let's keep on moving north. Recruit some more men. Now let's get back up to Ravenna. We gotta be careful just in case there's a group of bandits that is larger than us right now, which... Oh wow, that was not, that was pretty nice right there. Okay, let's uh, charge in and kill some bandits real quick, get some more moolah. Okay, let's see here. Okay, let's see this on the map real quick. They're 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 actually coming towards us, so let's uh, form up up here and get ready to, to attack. We got this, guys. Man, I feel like my throat is like about to explode right now, so I might call it soon after this because. It's like really tingly, like ticklish type. I, I don't even know how to describe it. Anyways, right here, let's put you guys up. Let's put my archers right there. Let's put my infantry off to the side. Any cavalry I have, I'm going to put them off to the flanks to help clean up if we need to. Okay, we got my pilum. Oh, way too low. I need to get better at throwing pilum. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's have you guys come into our front lines. Nice, good job, man. Okay, let's uh, come in it. You got a club, we're good. Nice, he's down. That was pretty easy victory right there. Good fight, man. Okay. Let's uh, call that good. We had completely killed four of them and wounded. F well, we killed ten of them and wounded four. So good battle right there. Nice. All right, let's see here. Let's uh, grab everything we have. Morale increased again, which is good. Okay, we'll recruit. 
some more men over here in Salona. That'd be great. It looks like my audio bug is completely obsolete. And it's not cutting out like it used to do. Ah, it's nice having a new motherboard. Oh, yeah. If I didn't say why, it's because my birthday was earlier this week. And so I anyway, just thought I'd give a little heads up right there. Okay, uh, let's enter the meat hall real quick. Traveler and Kara Tacos. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I have it. Uh, yeah, you're a warrior. Um, sweet. If anybody want to be Kartakos. Anyways, I actually have already a list. Look in the description below. You will be able to sign up for a companion. And I'll just gonna kind of do it first come first serve unless you really want to be named after like you really want to be the certain companion. And maybe I may make a little exception. Actually, I will make an exception. Okay, now let's uh, level you up to a veteran. Okay, let's do. An archer since I think we were missing one. We'll do one of each and Roman Legionnaire. Awesome. Okay, we'll talk to you real quick and let's go into your equipment. Uh, this rawhide coat is probably a lot better than this one, which it is. Ooh, interesting. So the clothing can have an impact on party morale. Interesting. I'll have to look into that one in the future. That's really cool though. Alright, let's get on over to Ravenna. I'm sick of traveling. It's been a long road trip. Are we there yet? Okay. I also dislike how you have to cross up here, but that's okay. Maybe you'll add a bridge right there someday in the future. Since I think uh, bridges were actually very pertinent to the time period. Okay, now let's uh, walk around the streets. Hopefully it puts us right in the town instead of outside the town. Come on! I, I love how Mountain Blade does that sometimes. It's just funny to me. Got my pilum. Man, I should go to the Olympics. I mean, seriously, javelin throw? I would own that. Okay, so I'll go in and talk to the guildmaster, relation improve. And that is great. Renown goes up, money goes up. Okay, uh, let's uh, see if you'll let me buy productive enterprise now. Now, let's see how expensive this is. Oh, let me see. 14000 But I would have a profit of 557 per turn. Wow. And what was that one for? Beer? A brewery. Bakery and mills, 12,000. Oh, yeah, that's not that good. Uh, leather? Makes up for it in 20 weeks. How about wine press? No, that's not as advantageous. Um, let's go down to an oil press. 18. Uh, heck no. Ironworks. I think we're going to go for brewery, guys. Just want to make sure. I know I can look at all the stats and stuff. But this way is also pretty easy, too. 84? No, that's not economical. Okay, Weavery. Okay, uh, let's go for a brewery. Okay. So we'll be making about 600 per turn just off that. We need to get a town, too, sometime. That'd be nice. 
Alright, anyways guys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, we have a good amount going for us already. It's only episode number four, technically two, but anyways, I'll worry about that later. Anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, feel free to give this episode a thumbs up. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. This is Quick Delicious. Check it out.